The Wonka franchise is a masterclass in money, marketing, and unexpected wins. So Timothy Chalamet's prequel is getting rave reviews, but did you know that the original adaptation was a complete flop? It all started with this book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, published in 1964. And the author Rodal, he wasn't exactly an angel. The original story has faced a few rounds of censorship. Then in 1971, Paramount adapted the book into a film calling it Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But why Wonka and not Charlie? Well, Quaker Oats offered up $3 million to fund this movie. They had big, big plans. So they were gonna launch Willy Wonka branded candies with the film release. In the end, Quaker Oats had to literally pull their Wonka candy from the shelves because the chocolate bars kept melting. Let's fast forward to the 80s. We got Paramount and Quaker Oats that want nothing to do with this film. They sell their rights to Warner Brothers for $500,000. It was actually video rentals that made Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory a cult classic. So without this, we probably wouldn't have had this. 